All right, my friends, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome, my friends, to a brand new episode of our City Zoo build, Tropical Wings Zoo. Uh, you're going to see, my friends, right now, we're not doing anything fancy in today's episode. No intros, no cinematics. And the reason for that is this is going to be our very first zoo tour uh today we're basically just gonna take a walk around tropical wings we're gonna take a look at what uh i've built so far i'm gonna talk to you about a few little issues i've got i'm gonna talk to you about future plans uh but mainly i'm gonna show off the project so far and the reason i'm doing this is obviously the project is uh you know a few months old now um uh, from humble beginnings we are now you know we've, we've now got quite a few species in the zoo i've had many many new subscribers to the channel as well over the last couple of months uh, and so I just really want to show off everything rather than keep doing this epi you know, episode by episode building new habitats and whatnot and not taking a deeper dive and a better look at uh, some of the uh, older parts of the zoo shall we say. Um, I have the zoo playing, so all the animals are going to be moving around. Staff are going to be going here, there, and everywhere. But, uh, you know, we are just going to concentrate on what we're doing, pay attention to the bits and bobs we're looking at, and um, and then we will, uh, you know, go from there, basically. Um, this is episode 14, I believe, my friends. I think I was one behind when I was talking about this last time. Uh, so no biggie for episode 14, but... For episode 15, my friends, I will be, uh, you know, bringing some new animals to uh, to Tropical Wings. But uh, anyway, let's crack on, shall we? So, uh, obviously, this is the entrance, my friends. We all know this very, very well. Uh, nothing's really changed here, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not really evolved uh, too much um, because all of the, the big bits were put in place very, very early on. One thing I will say... Is I wanted to um I wanted to make this one of those like unique viewpoints. Um, it was one of the updates that we got, weren't it, on the game uh, a while back. But um, I can't hide. I can't hide the thing. Um, I have seen a tutorial where apparently you can sink a piece of um, a piece of path right under the ground and then place it there. But I want to do it because this would be a great place for people to kind of stand and have their picture taken, wouldn't it, in front of the logo to Tropical Wings, basically. Uh, but yeah, like I say, the entrance hasn't really evolved too much. It's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm still a massive fan of the entrance. Um, I'd, I'd still, to this point, think that um, it's definitely on par with uh, the entrance I made for for jcp um if we just dive inside there have been some changes in here though only minor changes and as you're going to see i've um i've put to work the new barriers uh, i think they just look far far nicer uh than the, the mess that uh, i was making before um there is a little issue with the guest uh, with the staff as you can see they just disappear off the face of the earth when they jump out the window but um uh, i'm not all that bothered uh by that um but yeah nothing's nothing too much has changed in here it is still Still very very nice it's a lovely entrance and uh, we'll just come up this way obviously we've got uh, e-ticket machines there and if we come around the corner you've got like a guest services uh, so that's still there my friends um, not, I've not put any like barriers back here I didn't really feel the need um, and uh, yeah I feel like it's still looking still looking pretty good isn't it um, I will just jump inside here because obviously we do have a staff room back here my friends uh, as uh, as you will know from when we did the entrance and the reason I'm jumping back here is because this area here is actually going to be a little bit problematic um, decorating it um, because it was something that I wanted to do at a later date was like really uh, you know deck out this area but I'm having a few issues um, with this building and uh, you know and, and making additions and I'm having the trouble with the gift shop as well I think it's just there's already a lot of pieces in the area and especially when you're using wood to clad a building in, um, I feel like you, you, you're bound to have some problems, but to be fair, it doesn't look too bad, and I think we can get away with it uh, to some extent as well. But uh, yeah, let's go out this way, my friends. Let's go back to the entrance plaza. Uh, like I say, not much has changed. We did all these boards a long time ago. Uh, I'm thinking about potentially adding stuff to the walls here though because the more I look at other zoos and whatnot there's always these balls and there always seems to be posters and things all over the place so uh, I'm thinking about adding some more stuff like that but um, yeah let's dive on in to the zoo my friends now we're obviously at the entrance plaza now we've got bathrooms this way we've got a gift shop over this way um and uh yeah and then obviously your notice board will tell you where to go my friends now you will notice there's no um primates of africa on this notice board and i probably should update it to be honest with you uh, it could probably fit in there just under 
the Greater Flamingo. Um, but these boards, I am going to throw it out there, these boards are not going to be big enough uh, as the zoo grows. So I'm actually thinking of, rather than updating these, because I do really like the size, I think they, they really fit in, I'm going to make a slightly different design of this and have them scattered around like near edges and stuff and add stuff to them. Because I feel like this, to be fair, it serves its purpose. It shows you the first animal, the gift shop and the toilet and whatnot. Uh, and then we could have like other, you know, uh, diff different ones for, for special places like primates of Africa and stuff like that basically but uh, but um, yeah obviously the toilets are this way we don't really need to take a big deep dive into the toilets they they are what they are ladies and gents but um, yeah we go this way my friends because I have been making some additions I've been making some changes um, primates of Africa I can't wait to show you because I've made lots of changes uh, for the better uh, but yeah if we just work our way up here obviously the uh the main gift shop uh inside there but um the these uh these stations now are going to be complete because i've actually started making some imagery and you can see donation station adopt a wild child today uh so i've made some um made some custom boards um, that we're going to be scattering with these all over the park uh, and all over the zoo. Um, there are some like, I, I, I want to try to get the donation boxes, bins, uh, placed nearby, but I want to try and disguise them in a certain way. I just, everything I try to do, it just it looks so clumbersome because the bins are, it's just silly big really. Like even the normal bins are quite large, aren't they? So yeah, it's just one of those things that we can't get around. Uh, the gift shop. Ladies and gents, he's, he's looking pretty good. It's still not full up. I'm trying to find some smaller items to put on the shelves, and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do that because, uh, like I say, I'm having a few issues, you know, placing new stuff uh, in and around this building. Uh, like I wanted to do the gutter in because I realised I hadn't done that on this building and uh, can't do it because it keeps throwing me out of the game whenever I try to uh, to make any additions. So, yeah, it's a very frustrating thing at the moment. But, uh, yeah, the gift shop is looking pretty good. As you can see, I've put that barrier in here as well just because they look so much nicer, don't they? Uh, and there's a few shelves at the back that need filling as well. But the gift shop is looking pretty full up uh, at this point, ladies and gents. Uh, we've got our banners, we've got our seat in, and I'll just zoom out just so you can get a real kind of like nice overview of how the entrance plaza is looking. And um, I'm still over the moon with it. You know, we, we, we built this entrance plaza uh, some time ago now. And, uh, you know, the, the, the danger with any of these long-term projects is that you're your ability to build and your style evolves and you just gradually get better and i'm sure anybody else out there that makes content like realizes this as well um you know i watch content creators and I, like something they built like four months ago and then you watch what they're building now and they just come on leaps and bounds and i do worry about these long-term projects and that happening to me as well it's one of the reasons why i went in and completely reworked all of uh, the primates of Af africa yards uh because they were just very very dated but uh but yeah the entrance plaza is looking pretty good flamingo flavors is in here ladies and gentlemen i am actually considering uh deleting this little wall out in the middle uh and putting those barriers in just so we can move traffic in here a bit better because this is actually just one piece of path and i'm a bit worried that we're going to have problems with this when we eventually open the doors uh to the zoo uh but yeah flamingo flavors is looking pretty good i changed the back to pink um, i think it was uh, just more you know more fitting basically uh, in my opinion so just a, it's just a slight change there uh, but other than that not much has changed in flamingo flavors as well um, one of the big issues now this is a massive problem as far as i'm concerned because the project is never going to feel finished until i can get around this so obviously you will remember we used to have a fence along here and uh, i removed it because i thought it was causing problems um, and then I was like oh I could rework this area uh, you know we've got another way up uh, onto flamingo flavors because it used to just come to a dead end and uh, you know we want to move, move traffic the best way possible um, but I keep trying to cover the floor here as you can see look there's some slight green and whatnot and I keep trying to change that and cover it and every time I try and do anything the game crashes again there is a problem over here I don't know what it is. I can't find what it is and I can't get to the bottom of it. And until I do, I can't join this fence up. Um, and that's an issue. I could live with the floor. I really, really could. I could live with this floor looking a bit 
um, looking a bit rubbish basically. But the fence and joining up would be nice because, you know, these are this is a back back lot area back here, and uh, I'd like to get that all sorted out um, if possible. But we'll have to just wait and see what happens, ladies and gents. But uh, this is the playground, as you know. This was uh, you know strategically placed, like quite early on in the zoo. I just thought it'd be a nice like little place filler, um, you know, early doors. Um, I, you know, the, I, I, when I was going over the zoo, and I've been trying to just basically finish stuff off, ready to do this first tour. I'm going to throw it out there. I didn't actually get round to everything. I was doing a quick scout of everything uh, just before I sat down to record, and um, I've still not finished a few bits. But it is what it is. There's you know, I have to. I had to record this now. Um, I've, I've run out of time. I'm very, very busy. Um, you know, the next few days. So it was one of those things where we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But yeah, we've got a park in a uh, little playground. Um, we probably need another one of these um, because I keep looking at the zoo. And we're actually, you know, we've really opened up the space. I think maybe like. Um, in Adventure Africa, we could do an African theme one. I think it would look really, really cool. Um, and be a nice little place filler as well, rather than it just being animal after animal, because um, we do need to start thinking about stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, over here is uh, is the first animal that you, uh, that you encounter uh, in the zoo. And it is, of course, our flock of flamingos. You can see it all over in the deep part uh, of the pool at the moment, which is um, fascinating to see that they're all over there. Uh, there's not even one straggler over here. I don't think there's any in the uh, in the sh oh one 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 lonesome flamingo in the uh, in the uh, hard shelter. Um, but uh, but yeah, the uh, flamingo flock is ever growing and doing really well. And uh, you know the shed is looking pretty good as well, my friends. It is quite large. I did consider like making it a bit smaller. Um, but you know what? Um, the shed that I based it off of in Chester Zoo is big like this. It's a very, very large building. So, you know, we, we can get away with it. It's not a problem. And plus, we need that clearance, that ground clearance for our uh, for our zookeeper. So, uh, and there's lots of flamingos now. So maybe it's not that much of um, of, a, of a problem. It's just me making a big deal out of, uh, out of it. But um, you know what? I keep looking at the flamingo habitat. I keep thinking to myself, like, do we need to update this one? But um, do you know what? I'm quite happy with it. I don't think we do. I, I quite like the shorter grass and the bushes towards the back. And then we've got these... Um, these two little raised bits, which were inspired by a zoo that I was looking at, where they made fake nesting sites and whatnot, and uh, I essentially tried to tried to mimic that to, to some degree. Um, but yeah, if we come around this way, as you can see, like most of this planting and all the seating and whatnot's done. Um, I haven't finished the floor and I haven't finished planting off. Um, you know, I've got, got, got good reasons for like not doing it at the minute, and it's basically because I don't know how much of this path I'm gonna have to rework when uh, at a later date I do my otters uh, because my plan is to put the otters here and uh, the reason I've put this path in here as well is because part of this is going to be bridged um, because the otter habitat is going to be here and probably like here um, and then when you get to the other side over here is going to be like their hard shell or here I'm not sure yet uh, but it's going to be a window on the front with some seat in uh, where they do like educational talks for the otters and stuff I've got a really cool idea for it but um, yeah the, the logistics of actually making it work are, are, are really really difficult and I'm really struggling with it at the moment um, to get it to to get it to work how I want it to work but you know we're not we're not worrying about that because we're not really working on this area but um it's one of the reasons I haven't finished all the floor and I haven't finished the planting and whatnot because I might have to rip it out to make this work so we will just have to wait and see what happens uh ladies and gents so we spin this around now uh, you're going to see this is uh, this is the primates of africa house and i've been doing lots of work um around here in this pool um area um now you will remember this water carries on and it goes around and that's what's the that's where the trough is essentially that kind of stops the gorillas from escaping but also this trough is going to have um you know a few waterfalls coming off of it um it's going to be all nice and rocked up and whatever and it's going to fall down into like another body of water which is where the uh, pygmy hippos are 
are, are going to live and uh, you know I'm doing it because you'll be able to get to see you know like the gorillas from you know the pygmy hippos basically and uh, if you're lucky as well you might even see the the pygmy hippos from this little part of the gorilla house as well so um, yeah it's interesting but I've been uh, like I said I've been working on this pool again um, you know up to this point here we're just going to have this as like a bit of a natural sort of pond um, area I'm going to have like a probably have a slight waterfall like fall off basically uh, if I can try and make it work so it falls off into this um, into this pool but um, but yeah this is what I've uh, what I've been working on you know just getting the wall in planting just you know really bringing it to life I've reworked all this again you will remember um, that I actually took it all the way up and we had that gate in and whatnot and the more I looked at it and the more I thought about it the more I thought that no it's just it's too easy to escape for the gorillas there so instead um, you know, I've pulled this gap in and, uh, you know, that will stop the gorillas from um, being able to get out now. So, uh, and it makes more sense as well. And then what I have done uh, to rework this section um, is you've got this little um, this little gate here. Obviously, I need to sort this out. Um, this is this wall design. So I need to sort that out. I didn't even realize that. But uh, yeah, if you walk this way now, uh, when you get to this point, we're actually, we're still going to have that uh, gate here. Um, which I completely forgot about and um, we're going to go around the corner and there's a door here now uh, and obviously I haven't done the inside of this this bit bit yet but if you go through the door and you come out the other side it's like a staff access door uh, to this point here and the reason I've put this in as well is because um, I have put a guest speaking point here so the way I look at it is um, you know for ease of access and whatnot the uh, the educator would be able to like just quickly walk in and then this is where they stand and they uh, do a talk on the gorillas basically I just thought it was a uh, uh, really interesting thing to do and it's just you know it's another way for, for our staff to get in you know if they need to keep an eye on you know things that are going on they can come in here and take a look and uh, make sure all is uh, all is well with the gorillas basically uh, as you can see the glass needs sorting out um, little cut there basically what I've done is I've turned off this getting damaged for the tour basically I don't want to see all those cracks and whatnot on the glass um so yeah, uh, let's go back to where we were, uh, go back outside. So yeah, there's some subtle changes that I've made. And uh, you know, I think it actually looks uh, a lot a lot better actually. I think it does. And this this area as well is starting to like get finished off, which was the which was the whole point really of the tour was for me to get everything finished and then we could jump in. Um, I've started doing some planting on the outside. Uh, you will remember I was I mean an iron whether or not I wanted to put a sign outside, but instead I think I'm just going to plant this the way I have done, like the rest of the area. I'm not going to finish this bit of planting off because, like I say, I, I'm still working towards finishing all this off. But um, if I take you inside, um, primates of Africa, my friends, um, not much has changed on the inside. I'm going to throw it out there. It really, really hasn't. Um, I finished off a little bit of lighting. Um, I still haven't finished off like the chimpanzee guest area which is really poor on me because it's one of the big things that needs doing but um I, to be honest with you I, I was exhausted after doing the uh primate yards and after finishing finishing off a few bits like it has really just got the better of me um there's 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 there was a ridiculous list of things to do in this project um that i'd been putting off and um i just was just tired by the time I'd you know finished the majority of them. I, I've still got some jobs to do, and that is one of them. But yeah, not much has changed uh, on the inside of this building. Just little bits and bobs have been added, like fire extinguishers and things like that, like little details. Um, you know, if we come into this room, there's obviously that slight change. I was just talking about that door, and this is obviously where we're going to have guest speakers and whatnot, educating our guests on the gorillas and stuff. Uh, and then if we walk up, you're going to see there's been a mass change change to the gorilla yard and there's also been a massive change to the mandrel yard and there's been a massive change to the chimpanzee yard um the more the more i was looking at reference material the more i really began to dislike the plant style and the way it looked and um i've gone with a style by uh, you know a, a zoo in particular i was looking at and it was just really overgrown and just plants everywhere and um you know and then you know they built these climbing structures up and whatnot and uh, i really like it really really like it and you know as far as like the rocks are concerned as well there's like a really like good mix of like fake and real so the fake stuff is for structure um the real stuff is um 
the real stuff is like really just to kind of like obviously bring some life um you know and, and bring some character and whatnot to certain areas uh, and also i've left this uh, this piece here slightly open because i think this would be cool to eventually be able to like look over into the um look over into the um hippo habitat that's going to eventually be there basically and uh, uh it will see where that tree is that's where i envision um the the uh the building that i'm going to put in the middle so i've got this idea about putting a building uh in there um and then uh, he's going to have uh, the middle of the floor is going to have like a glass bottom floor and i understand that like the our guests won't be able to walk on it because of the way power system power systems work in this game but i just think it might be a really cool thing to do it's like have a glass floor like in the middle and you'll be able to potentially see like the hippos passing underneath and then and also you're going to be able to walk out onto the like outside of that building and there's going to be um you know like um like decking and whatnot you can stand there and look over into the hippo habitat basically um and that's going to be like one bit and there's going to be another viewing area where you're going to go down and you're going to get to look at the hippos like underwater basically uh so yeah i've got like actually got like a pretty cool idea i've been drawing it up like i do all of my habitats and uh it's really coming together so you would be able to see that and i think it might be you know quite cool to be able to do so um so yeah um it's a big change uh, on the outside but not so much on the inside but we'll walk it on the inside first and then we'll uh, we'll take a look outside next now when we come into this room i've realized that these pictures need changing now this is what it used to look like um this is the and this is crazy okay so this is what it used to look like i'm going to quickly just jump outside so you can see what it looks like now it's completely different. It's a massive overhaul, ladies and gents. Like, you can't understand how much of an overhaul I've actually made to uh, all of the um, primate yards. Uh, and uh, they look far, far better uh, now, in my opinion, uh, when you're looking at this. Now, I've actually um, begun doing the um, pictures that are going to go on these boards. Um, I'm actually doing sort of like plans and stuff like that because uh, this is going to be a room like educating you on the building and whatnot um i've decided to keep it uh how how i always wanted to like this building is going to have like a history of like this building and then the other room is going to have like the de deforestation stuff some people said that they didn't like the way it was tucked away in that room but i just feel like because that's next to the rainforest room it makes more sense um i decided to put planters in here um i'm not going to bother trying to do like a mini scale model or whatnot um, I'm just going to put some plants in and uh, and uh, bring some colour. We're still having issues up here. Um, nothing I can do about it. You probably just see that that uh, mandrel clipping through, uh, but it is one of those things, unfortunately. Um, if we carry on coming down this way, uh, obviously we've still got um, these viewing windows, which I absolutely love. Um, it's a really cool view now because obviously I've changed all of the climbing frame and really opened it up. It was a complete mess before. Um, we had these little things on top of the trees and oh, straight pieces of rope and it didn't look good at all like if you're going to do man-made you can still make the man-made stuff like look really really nice and um i think i've i've managed to do that now um but yeah we come around this way and we come down this is where the little deforestation corner is going to be uh and the reason for that is because the next room is the rainforest room and nothing has changed in here whatsoever uh notice boards on the wall they're all the same uh the bench in the middle and uh, this room is exactly the same uh the only thing i've done a little bit of work on is obviously this um this bridge over into the other mandal area i've basically stuck wood there so they climb onto it rather than jump onto it and for for a while it was it was helping with those issues but just every now and then we get a mandal just clip through the floor um and it is what it is it's just one of those things but uh you will see the viewing areas for the mandal um you can see the gorilla diving about out there uh, the mandrel the yard is completely different as well um and we've just got another window here and there's a there is a mandrel jumping about down there which is good to see uh, but it's a really good view of the gorillas and stuff in the background as well and you can see that little bit of body of water a little bit from this one which i don't mind too much uh to be honest with you uh, we come around this way, uh, as you can see, still got some screens to do. I was going to do like a, a, you know, like a meet the sort of family, similar to what we did with the gorillas, but I feel like the mandrels, they're going to get to a sort of number where this is going to just get out of hand. So I'm actually thinking of removing these two at the top, keeping these two here and just doing some like um, facts about mandrels and whatnot, um, some education on the animals. But uh, as you can see, 
the uh, the yard has the yard has changed uh, somewhat out here for whatever reason. That is having a crazy time. That um, that mandrel up there, isn't it? But uh, but yeah, as you can see, like um, it, it's all changed out in the yard. Like I moved the tree. I've moved this climbing frame in the middle. Uh, I've really opened up all this area back here a bit, and like the planting is a lot more dense, the same as the uh, gorillas. But um, I'll show you the yards and I'll show you the changes I made to the buildings around them as well. Uh, when we go outside uh, and then if we carry on this way my friends you're going to see that uh, none of this has changed here either I wondered what that was then as that was coming around the corner that freaked me out it was his bloody broom um, <laughs> we come round here uh, nothing has changed here either um, you know the, the the chimpanzees like indoor area is still the same I still absolutely love it it's why I haven't changed it and there's no there's no issues with it I never have any glitching where like chimps are not going through glass or anything like that like it just works perfectly so yeah I'm really happy with that potentially going to put some like education on the wall or I might even do some more like photos like we've got in the um, you know the history of the facility like put some photos on this wall just to kind of break up the walls a little bit um, and then you come this way and this is the bit I was saying that like I still haven't finished as you can see bare bones on the walls none of the uh, none of the education boards have got anything on them um, but if you take a look out at the chimpanzees yard you'll see that it's all changed my friends it's so much nicer that that horrible wall has gone at the back um, and we've completely like just revamped it basically uh, really really have worked hard on it uh, to get it up to up to standard basically coming this way lights added door all done and then the gift shop is very much a work in progress still because i forgot about the gift shop even existing i'm gonna be honest with you i totally forgot it was here um but uh we just got bits to put on shelves and we just need to get some lights on the ceiling we don't need to go too crazy in here um we really really don't uh but uh yeah that's uh that's the other gift shop my friends and then you would come out and you would exit basically um you would exit the um Oh, Primates of Africa House. I nearly forgot what it was called then. I nearly called it Gorilla Kingdom for some reason. As you can see, I've started putting some like uh, signs on the walls as well because obviously these are supposed to be exits, these doors. This is like an emergency exit only, even though our staff can go through. But um, as far as the building's concerned, you will see like there have been some minor changes like... I've got all the guttering on now, things like that. Um, I've still left some safety wall for like fences like at the top uh, of these parts here. Uh, but again, um, I've reworked this piece of the building and then I've put this up here to kind of mimic electric fences. Uh, what I want to do is put like power boxes and then run some wires like on the, on the roof to a, like a power point or something because then I think it would give it that, um, you'd, you'd, you'd believe it a bit more at what I tried to tried to sort of uh, mimic basically um, and then you can see like little safety bits and bobs um, in here I'm thinking about putting this wood all the way around because it would work as a climbable piece and so then they would actually stay on it um, rather than the way they like slide out uh, at the moment I think a lot of it is once they reach this room there's such an ability to kind of like clip through before but as you can see like I changed this piece here um, uh, going out because I actually walk up it now rather than jump into this and that was one of the big reasons why we were getting uh, clipping and whatnot but as you can see look because he clipped onto that piece of water that can cause issues like big issues but it's it is just one of those things basically but yeah um, back to this bit here I've reworked all that wall um, I've started sticking lights in everywhere guard rails like really trying to tie this up now trying to get all the vents all sorted and looking really pretty on the roofs uh, you know this one here I did a big change on this one it now joins up to an aircon unit we've added vents on the roof at back up here I've even started work on the back lot area for the um, for the primates of Africa house uh, which was a big change uh, obviously we've got our staff yard I've started adding loads of like bits and bobs and mess and whatnot and then when we come in here i've started working on like all the indoors so i've added windows now to our you know to our primates like indoor areas uh, as you can see this is the chimpanzees one um, i actually see this uh, recently when i was doing some research and these are like raised beds and they build them into the walls and whatnot and um, uh, chimps actually get up there and use them which is amazing so um yeah we've done that um, I've done a bit of a rework on this uh, with the chimps come in, you know, 
if, if they need to do like one-on-one -on -one training and whatnot and I've got this slide gate now but uh, there's actually like buttons and all sorts of stuff to kind of like work with it all we've got a door that goes in here just loads of work has been done like a ridiculous amount of work to be honest with you um, and I'm sure you can all see like how much work has been going on like vents all on the roofs and yeah just crazy amounts of work but um that's the, the building to to, to to the big degree the building's not changed much like the two some big areas that have changed this is this is a big change because obviously we've bought this body of water in here and i've done the same the other end as well like i've bought that body of water in there so it actually looks like it is a proper uh, you know trough like the, the water actually um, does stop the gorillas from escaping that was a big thing um, this body of water hasn't changed but around this side we have changed it as well so it might be really difficult to tell but this body of water used to finish about here but instead I've decided to take it straight on against the building um, and now we have that fence at the back that wraps all the way around and it just makes more sense, just makes a lot more sense. And, um, you know, we've joined all this path back here now as well. So our staff can come this way as well as go all the way through and out that way. So our staff can move around with utter ease where this zoo is concerned. They really, really can. Like I've been working on path around here as well. Like it's ridiculous. I actually got a new building to show you as well. Stuff I've been working on. But yeah, if we take a look at the new yards, you're going to see that like I've gone with this really sort of overgrown um, design and I've done it in all of the yards and it's just based off of you know real zoos that I've been looking at and uh, the sort of style that they go with uh, the climbing frame like I say the climbing frame has completely changed in this area I've taken off those garish bits that were at the top uh, and instead you know we've replaced them with these beds and like rope beds and whatnot um, and just like more sort of like climbing frames like um you know, to make it look a bit more like the chimpanzees one does, because this is one facility, it should all, it should all kind of like look the same and feel the same. And so, um, yeah, I've just kind of tried to do that. And then we've got this area, um, you know, back here as well. Um, but yeah, we removed a lot of the garish like um, fake rock and replaced it with real rock. Um, I think that's helped a lot. Um, you know, putting like uh, logs and stuff in here as well, changing all this up around this area so that it actually looks like these animals wouldn't escape um you know because that was something that i was so worried about before in in in, in the realism not really being there um but yeah as you can see we've like reworked all the planting in here to kind of like match up with the gorilla yard as well um but i think like overall i'm really really happy with it and i really love the way that like this has come out so this is almost like mimicking the way the gorillas you know kind of move around the habitat um and then up up here uh around here um and as you can see like into their feeding and climbing area and then you know multiple ways that they actually exit each part and then over here now you're going to see there is some planting that isn't finished like all along this mud wall um and I, again like i'm probably going to finish it off see how this end is i'm probably going to do that like all the way along um, along here but I uh, I'm gonna wait until I put the hippo hab in because I don't want to go and put like a really big plant there and affect the view so I'm gonna wait until the hippos in before I finish off the plant in uh, at the back of the habitat basically but um, but I think we can all agree like there's a lot more activity it looks really cool and it just looks a lot more real um, as well and then um, that's the uh, mandrels. And then, yeah, this is the, the way the chimpanzees look. Um, you kind of see it briefly a minute ago. But I added a bit more on their climbing frame uh, back here. So I added this section. Um, we've left that and we've just reworked this rope. So now it joins up to something else. Um, and then, yeah, just put real rock in and just reworked all the plants and whatnot and left it quite open at the front. Um, but, yeah, really, really like the chimpanzees area. Like... I just think it looks so natural and lush and yeah just I think we've nailed it I think I'm finally finally happy and then we've got this outdoor area as well which is quite difficult to work on um, because of the issues we've got behind that building but it just redid all the plants basically and I think it come out nice and I've redone the walls because these walls here were quite low and I thought the mandrels would uh, probably jump out so I've heightened those walls a little bit as well um and then i just need to put some like guardrails on the top because obviously i think they would be able to climb up there 
But um, yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, you know, they can actually use these indoor areas now as well because I was mucking about with uh, with stuff. Uh, so they can actually get in there now, which is good. Um, so I'm happy about that. Um, but yeah, it's all it's all getting there. It's all really working. Again, I've tried to do, to mimic that electric um, that electric fence idea. And as you can see, I've done like power cables and gone all the way along here. I just need to be able to like run something so it, it comes down and then we could like run a wire down and have a power point or something down there um, to like really make that look look cool. But yeah, the um, that is the Primates of Africa area. And I think I'm finally at a stage where I can say I'm finished. I've got a few boards to do um, to like finish off and I've got a few items to add here and there. But like the actual like main... I don't know what, like the main structural stuff is all done, my friends. Um, so yeah, let's carry on our tour, shall we? Um, I imagine this is going to be a pretty long video, but feel free to like skip to the bits you want. I'm going to put timestamps in the in the, the in the bottom so you know what animal we're talking about at what point. Um, obviously, this area here hasn't changed at all. Like not not one iota as this area changed like there was no need to change anything here um it's just pretty good i put some like guard rails in but that's literally it that's all i've done uh and i've added um one of these boards but other than that nothing's changed i realize i've got these to do i realize i've got this to do totally forgot about it i'm actually gonna i'm gonna make some like unique branding like i'm not gonna use like proper name brands like pepsi and coke i'm gonna make my own versions um and i think that might be cool uh, to have them on these boards um so yeah if you've got any like name suggestions for like may maybe like a fizzy drink or an ice cream or something feel free to let me know in the comment section below and like if there's any like really good ones then i'll uh, i'll be sure to use them but uh, yeah, as far as this area is, it's like a little pit stop area, basically. Um, and then if we go uh, through here, you will remember there's um, there's just toilets in here. Nothing that exciting, to be honest with you. Um, if we go this way, and I'll show you this area um, first, and then what I'll do is I'll show you Adventure Africa, and then we'll take a very quick glimpse at like backstage stuff. Uh, but yeah, um, this is our Adabrator's house. So if we go in here, you're going to see this room still not done. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I forgot about this. I was literally, like I say, I, I was going around the zoo just before I was going to do sit down and do this. And I, I'd forgot about this room. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm at a bit of a loss. Not sure what I'm going to do in here, but we will uh, we'll figure something out. So if we come in this way, my friends, not much has changed in here either like it really really hasn't um we've got an education board here uh, i still want to add one in this little gap because i think it's perfect but yeah not much has changed in here at all like and i'm going to be honest with you the tortoises they're not in here very often um and uh you know only when food is put down <laughs> but food gets put down outside as well but yeah they uh they do spend a lot of time outside even though it's uh really shaded out there but uh but yeah like um it's not changed much at all this hab my friends it's still lush it's still beautiful and it's still a pretty cool build like i'm still really really happy with um with the way this uh with the way this turned out and especially the way like the guest path kind of works um in here uh if we go outside my friends you will see not much has changed in here um, if we were to go in here this is where our zoo keepers would go in and this is um this is the uh tortoises hab a uh, little sleeping spot doesn't need to be anything too crazy in here it really really doesn't um and if we go outside then uh this is where our our uh, nile monitors are and uh i would imagine they're swimming one swimming where's the other one ah, i'm a little wander about um i i i haven't reworked this this um this hab yet but i am definitely going to be ripping this out and doing it again um the more i look at it the more I'm I'm okay with it, but I just feel like I could do a better job. I really, really do. Um, so I'm eventually one day probably going to rip it out and uh, and rework it basically. But um, but yeah, it's still it's still pretty cool though. I still really like it. I still love the way it's kind of like sunken in here, like next to our tortoises and whatnot. And the fact they're both African species as well is um, is pretty cool. And then uh, you come around this way, my friends, and obviously you've got the outdoor area to the tortoises they've mugged me right off haven't they because i said they're out here more than they are indoors and then we come out here and there's not one of them to be seen my friends so uh 
That's typical, isn't it? It really is typical. Now I'm going to just swing this round because there's actually some new additions uh, over here. So you will remember this is obviously the gift shop uh, to the uh, Primates of Africa house. Now we've actually got a brand new like wall has gone in with some planting. Um, we've obviously got the, this side as well. And so I've wanted to match both sides up like the best uh, way possible. Now, someone did mention that they didn't think that these um, gates were, were high enough for like certain um, vehicles and whatnot. And, um, and they've been designed that way intentionally. I don't want a big lorry. Uh, to have to come through here. Smaller vehicles, like smaller vans and lorries, that's fine, and trailers and whatnot, but like the big lorries for like elephants and that, we don't really want them coming through these gaps because we don't need them to. Um, so, but, you know, essentially, like so I think someone was worried about the transportation of animals like elephants and whatnot. The elephants are going over here, and so as long as like wherever they're coming from, they're going to come down this way and out. And so I've made sure that these areas are like large enough for for, for vehicles that they're gonna they're gonna travel in. So yeah, we've um, we've basically matched the gate up this side as we have this side. Um, I was gonna do it like like opposite each other, but the more I thought about it, it might not have worked out that way because something could go in here. We just don't know. So there is like a slight movement, but we're going to have quite a big sort of open plaza area here anyway because we're going to be doing like an entrance into probably the lions because uh, i think that's probably going to be like an, a species uh, that we're going to do in this direction so i want to leave this quite open ready for like a, a big species but this is all like new and uh, the reason for that is because we've finally joined the back of the uh, gift shop up and uh, then we've also finally joined the back of um of uh, the primates of Africa house where you know we started to like tie up the back of the building and whatnot and get lights and all that sort of uh, malarkey in uh, we've moved like the water treatment uh, you know area as well um, you know for this um, for this uh, trough of water this pond of water and that we're, we're obviously going to need more uh, than what we've got um, when we eventually put like the hippos in but this is like the the, the start basically um, and then yeah a little road in place but uh, still still some work to be done back here but this is how the back of the chimps looks as well because I've reworked all of that planter behind because I, I needed to after a complete rework of the inside and uh, I feel like it just really masks it all off like really really nicely actually. Um, but what I do like is that um, um, when we're over this way, I'm actually gonna like I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the terrain up quite high. So there are gonna be points where you're gonna be a bit higher up and you're gonna see that climbing frame like in the distance, and I think it's gonna be really cool. And the same can be said over here because we're gonna drop lower and you're gonna see that climbing frame sort of in the distance, and it's gonna be really cool. Um, if we were to go just go, just go this way. Um, this is like um, that gate that I'd put in uh, last episode, I believe. Um, but yeah, I've actually finished off this back lot building. Now this is a facade, like this is literally for show. This building, there's, there's there are some working parts in here, um, but um, other than that, like this is for show, and I wanted it to be for show because these back lot areas, you just need to have space fillers sometimes. Um, and so I said I was going to do this idea where there was one building this side, the building this side, and then there was going to be this like roof that goes across that sort of joins both buildings and that's exactly what I've done um, and it has come out so much nicer than I could have ever anticipated and I've even put like a little um I've even put like a gate on here so we've got like a storage facility and whatnot uh, and I've started filling the area out with bins and you know forklift trucks and things like that but uh, if you look at it from this angle as well uh, this is like from the street view um, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And I like the fact that the buildings like the building like matches, but they're different sizes and they're different shapes and whatnot as well. Uh, but yeah, it's all kind of become like one one building essentially. And I absolutely love the way it's come out, um, even though it doesn't really serve much purpose other than like um, being a backstage area. Eventually, I will have like staff paths and whatnot to go from one place to the next, like back here, uh, so our staff can move easier. But uh, for now, I believe the only staff path goes to these two buildings here and it just goes out that way uh basically um we do have staff path that goes this way as well there's there's literally the intricacies of path work where the staff are concerned uh for me 
are so important because you you want to be able to move them around like so so easy uh but yeah it looks pretty cool you have to let me know what you make of that because that's like brand new like um i started working on that like the first thing i started working on actually um when i was going to do the tour i wanted to get all this area tied up um so yeah there is that my friends and then um we're going to go back over here and we'll work our way down into the african area remember this is just like some back lot stuff this was like a security building that we put in um and then yeah obviously we're going to go down into the tunnel now i'm not going to go through the tunnel i don't really feel like there's any need but i finally got some signs in so like we've got adventure Crafica like this way and then when we go to the other side there's a sign like pointing the other way as well and i've also got the new banners and everything sorted for adventure africa so if we dive on over my friends uh you're going to see the things i've been talking about so there's the other sign primates of africa this way um so uh so because it's like one of the big things it's like one of the main events at the zoo so it's good to get the uh advertisement for those in and then uh yeah these are the adventure africa banners basically so i've actually created them so they were two next to each other they're three long and then they were two next to each other so there's like a perfect cut basically there um for, from banner to banner um, which is really cool, which sounds like something I really like. Uh, so that's why we got them this side and these ones this side. So they're our Venture Africa um, banners. I think they look really, really cool, like really kind of like brighten the area up. And then this area, we're just going to take a quick gander because these are the last two habitats that we've built and you're probably kind of sick of looking at this area already. But um, something that has changed is I've just put, I put a plant in here, I started to get the path working this way, uh, we've actually put like a little ice cream stand over here, I just felt like we needed a little a little something, a little filler, um, so we've put that in there, and again, I've, I've got the, uh, I've got the little banners and stuff in place, um, and uh, just really over here it was about filling in gaps like for plants and just making sure all of the little bits and bobs were done, basically, um, it's not not much has changed to be honest with you um the hyena habitat i know i said i was going to change it um but it's still the same and the reason for that is i started changing it and it was horrendous and i d didn't now now i'm like i'm in an r in whether or not to leave it or or what i don't really know what to do with it um but uh yeah i've just finished off the roof design and whatnot uh on that that's all that's been done other other than that like not much has been done um as you can see, still looking pretty cool. Um, absolutely love the hyenas. I think this is a little bubba. This is a new guy. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's something that recently happened while I was playing the game. I keep it on pause because I don't want the animals to go crazy yet because I'm doing all these boards where like we've got certain amounts of animals and whatnot and then uh, there's going to be animals introduced and then um, yeah over here the warthogs have not changed like an awful lot but there are some additions so this trough has got bigger because um, I said I was going to do that so I've made that trough bigger uh, some people were uh, they're not really signed on for this idea with the meerkats and the aardvark and whatnot but let me just do it and then once it's done then you might open your mind to it a bit more um you know someone was saying oh you won't see the meerkats because they're only little but you just never know do you uh, if we build it in a certain way that we attract the meerkats to this area then then you might see them uh but yeah we will uh we'll wait and see it's not really about this being a viewing area for that it's just about getting a glimpse and it feel feeling a bit more natural and then it forces your you to go and have a look at those animals as well uh, as you can see i've put more of this wood like all the way up to kind of disguise that fence at the back and then uh, you're going to see this side as well i've done a bit more and it's because i've added some stuff in the background that i'll show you in a minute but yeah other than that not a lot not a lot has changed uh where the warthogs are concerned because uh, people were really happy with it and to be honest with you i felt like it was a pretty perfect habitat like i know perfect's probably not the best word to use but i just felt like it was a bang on habitat anyway uh if we come this way uh this is where all the work has been done over here my friends uh it really really has obviously we've tied up all this plant in i've you know added bits and bobs i've started getting all of this um all of this filled in uh with all of the the rubbish and whatnot in the yard um started getting all the planting all in uh, and then when we come around here you're going to see like a lot of road work uh, road markings have been done lighting cameras and then i decided to add this because i just felt like we needed something like this back here so it's just like a little 
just a little uh, lean to basically that's got a few bits and bobs inside it but because of where it sits as well I just felt like it was a cool place to put it um, you know you can see the roof but you can't see like all of it there but you you do go to zoos and whatnot and you do see stuff like this like in the way and what's nice is we've only got this fence to here so i'm actually thinking about taking this design and just filling it all up the, all the way up to there where all those bushes start and then you've got it there and, I, and then i feel like we're probably bang on like we probably don't really need to do much more where the warthogs are concerned but but yeah, that's that's like all I've really had to do back here. Like not really had to do too much at all. Like in inside the warthogs, like it's pretty pretty well done. Like I don't really need to make any changes uh, to that building. And I think the same can probably be said for the for the uh, for the hyenas. Like if we go inside, like it is pretty bang on. I know I need to add stuff on these walls, but but like even if i didn't i don't think i don't think it'd be missed all that much at the moment um but yeah it's um they're looking pretty good like all of the habs are like looking pretty good i you know after i did the uh after i did all the primates of africa habs i did think like oh should i add some more like long grass in this habitat but i want to get that um that good like mix of uh you know you know long and short and dry up habitats and whatnot and it's it's based in blighty obviously and we've got to think about that like for realism but but i feel like uh i feel like we've 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 somewhat nailed it um with these two habitats for now um so i'm just gonna leave them and we can rework them like at a later date but uh but yeah all the little small additions here and there have probably like made like a, a world of difference to certain parts of the zoo and you guys are the ones that probably notice them more than me um you know even like these trees on the outside just being added and you know these little notice boards as well like telling you which way to go to the zoo like there's been a lot of attention to detail like paid but you know i am conscious that this video is getting rather long uh so yeah i don't really want to waffle on too much longer but yeah just let me know what you've made uh, of this little video let me know what you think of the zoo so far and the changes that i've made and then obviously next episode you look forward to a big one my friend because um we're probably going to be welcoming two possibly three new animals to tropical wings but um i am done for this first of many zoo tours i am sure i really hope you've enjoyed it uh, if you're new around here and you want to carry on watching the series or you want to check out some of the other stuff that i'm doing please hit that subscribe button uh, you will never miss a video that way and it's the best way to support the channel drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it my friends as well the more likes i get the more chance i've got more people seeing my videos and then that means more eyes on my little pocket of the internet but my friends i'm done until next time stay safe stay humble and i will see you on the next one